Did you know that there is a gospel banned from the Bible where sin does not even exist, and that Mary Magdalene was supposed to be the real leader after Jesus? This ancient book, almost lost to history, holds the secret to escaping the world we live in. The early church banned the gospel of Mary Magdalene due to its powerful teachings. There's much more to our existence than we realize. This isn't just about religion. It's about understanding the world around us in a totally new way. And once you know the truth, there's no going back. You're going to start questioning everything. And that's when the real adventure begins. In the book, The Three Waves of Volunteers and the New Earth, Dolores Cannon, a regressionist hypnotherapist, talks about how certain souls, called volunteers, have come to Earth to help humanity raise its consciousness and move toward a better, more spiritual world. This connects the idea of past lives, reincarnation, and the higher purpose of these volunteer souls. It ties into the concept of escaping the material world, where hidden spiritual knowledge is the key to transcendence. Let's go back to the late 1800s, when a German scholar stumbled upon something extraordinary during an excavation in Egypt. In the dusty ruins of the ancient city of Oxyahinchus, he found fragments of a text that would later be known as the Gospel of Mary Magdalene. These weren't just ordinary manuscripts, they held secrets that could reshape the way we think about life, religion, and the world itself. With the discovery of more fragments over time, scholars began to piece together this lost gospel like a puzzle. They not only concealed the gospel of Mary Magdalene, but also banned it. The teachings inside were so controversial that they threatened the very foundation of the early church's power. They wanted to maintain control over what people believed, and the Gospel of Mary Magdalene challenged that control by saying that salvation didn't come from blind faith. It came from knowledge. And not just any knowledge, secret, empowering knowledge, that Co could help you escape the material world and discover a deeper, spiritual truth. If people believed that they didn't need the Church to reach salvation, and that they could find their own path by understanding the hidden truth about the world, the Church's power would crumble. This led to the ban and near destruction of the Gospel. It wasn't until the late 19th century that pieces of it were rediscovered, and it wasn't fully studied until well into the 20th century. This lost Gospel holds a profound message. The material world is not ill. Jesus teaches in this Gospel that everything we see and experience has a connection and originates from the same source. And one day, it will all return to that source. In a world that often feels confusing and chaotic, this teaching can be incredibly empowering. It tells us that, beneath the surface, everything is part of a bigger picture. And by understanding this, we can transcend the illusions that keep us trapped in fear ignorance, and suffering. The idea that the material world is an illusion isn't just a spiritual concept. It's something modern science, specifically quantum mechanics, is beginning to explore. Scientists have discovered that, at the tiniest level, reality doesn't behave the way we think it should. Everything appears to consist of energy, vibrations, and waves instead of solid matter. Even Max Planck, the father of quantum theory, once said, There is no matter as such. All matter originates and exists only by virtue of a force. The idea that the material world is just a temporary illusion and that true reality lies beyond what we can see is something both ancient wisdom and modern science seem to agree on. It implies that you can escape the fear and confusion of daily existence. It means that there's a way out, a path to something greater, something more real. The Gospel of Mary Magdalene is like a map that shows us how to escape this illusion and connect with the true nature of existence. The early church had a strict hierarchy. Men led it, 
and it was unthinkable for a woman to hold a position of authority, let alone spiritual leadership. According to the Gospel, Mary Magdalene, not Peter, not any of the male disciples, was the one who truly understood Jesus' teachings. Indeed, it was Mary's responsibility to guide the disciples following Jesus' departure. This Gospel paints Mary as a spiritual guide, someone Jesus entrusted with his deepest secrets. That alone would have shaken the early church to its core. But it goes even further. This Gospel suggests that salvation isn't about following religious rules or authority figures. It's about discovering your own spiritual path and understanding the truth within yourself. The Church held power by positioning itself as the only way to salvation. This Gospel flips that idea on its head by saying, No, you don't need a middleman. You have the power within you to understand the truth. The Gospel's claim that sin doesn't exist is striking. Let that sink in. Jesus informs the disciples that the concept of sin is merely a tool for controlling people through guilt and fear. Can you imagine how revolutionary that idea was in a time when the Church used sin as its main weapon to maintain authority? This directly challenges the manipulation of followers by religion. For centuries, the Church instilled fear in people by claiming they were born sinful and could only find salvation through strict obedience to religious leaders. The Gospel dismantles that idea, emphasizing personal responsibility and spiritual knowledge instead. It tells us that we are not inherently flawed or sinful, but that ignorance of our true nature is what keeps us trapped in suffering. The Gospel also sheds light on the treatment of women in the early Church. One of the most powerful moments in the text comes when Mary shares the secret knowledge Jesus gave her with the other disciples. Peter dismisses Mary, unable to accept her as their leader, as he finds it hard to believe that Jesus would have shared such profound wisdom with a woman. Peter's reaction reflects the patriarchal attitudes of the time, where women were seen as lesser beings who couldn't possibly hold spiritual authority. But Mary doesn't back down. She stands firm in her understanding, and one of the other disciples, Levi, steps up to defend her, pointing out that if Jesus chose her, then no one has the right to reject her. This moment in the text is a direct critique of the male-dominated structure of the Church. It demonstrates that gender does not limit spiritual wisdom, and that understanding, not hierarchy, is the source of true leadership. If you find value in uncovering these hidden truths and exploring the mysteries of the universe, you can take a step forward by showing your support. Click the Super Thanks button below to help me continue creating content that delves into the topics they don't want you to know about. This Gospel also aligns with modern critiques of religious orthodoxy especially the way institutions can manipulate belief systems to maintain power. Many people have begun to question traditional religious teachings over time, recognizing their use to instill fear and control instead of promoting genuine spiritual growth. The message of this Gospel resonates deeply with those seeking a more personal, direct connection to the Divine without the need for a rigid, patriarchal system telling them how to live. This Gospel pushes us to think about spirituality in a new way, to question authority and to realize that we have the power to find our own path to truth. It's a call to break free from the structures that hold us back and to embrace the idea that spiritual wisdom is something we can all access, no matter who we are. It may sound surprising, but the ideas in this nearly forgotten text actually seem to line up with some of the most complex theories in quantum physics today. It's almost like this ancient wisdom was ahead of its time, offering insights that science is only now beginning to confirm. According to quantum mechanics, 
Particles can simultaneously exist in two locations, communicate instantaneously over great distances, and even alter their behavior based on the presence or absence of observation. It's as if reality itself is flexible, shaped by consciousness and perception. Some modern physicists, like David Bohm, have suggested that the entire universe might be a vast, interconnected web of energy, what he called the implicate ardor. He posits that a fundamental connection connects everything in the universe, and our perception of separate objects and events is merely a reflection of this deeper, unified reality. This echoes Mary's message that all things are connected, originating from the same source and ultimately returning to it. The connection between science and spirituality isn't just a coincidence, it shows us that there's more to reality than meets the eye. Both fields point to a hidden, underlying truth that we can't fully grasp with our limited senses. And this is exactly what the Gospel of Mary teaches, that through knowledge and understanding, we can transcend the illusions of the material world and tap into the deeper reality that lies beyond. Another fascinating link between ancient wisdom and modern science is the idea of consciousness. This gospel suggests that consciousness, our awareness and understanding, is the key to unlocking the mysteries of existence. This isn't too far off from what some quantum physicists are exploring today. People like Erwin Schrödinger, another pioneer of quantum theory, have suggested that consciousness might be the fundamental force of the universe rather than matter. He even argued that everything we experience as reality is a product of consciousness itself. It means that the ancient teachings of Mary Magdalene weren't just spiritual metaphors. They were possibly a glimpse into the true nature of reality, something that science is only now beginning to explore. This intersection of science and spirituality gives us a new perspective on the world and shows us that the wisdom of the past might hold the keys to understanding the mysteries of today. Scientific and spiritual evidence suggests that the material world is not the whole picture. So there's more to learn about yourself and the universe. The boundaries we think exist between science and religion between the physical and the spiritual, are blurring, and that opens up endless possibilities. From the hidden teachings of the Gospel of Mary Magdalene to the cutting-edge discoveries of modern science, one thing is clear. The world we think we know is only the surface. Beneath it lies a deeper, more profound reality, one that connects everything and one that we have the power to tap into if we seek the knowledge. If you've found value in uncovering these hidden truths and exploring the mysteries of the universe, you can take it a step further by showing your support. Hit that super thanks button below to help me continue creating content that dives deep into the topics they don't want you to know about. Your support not only keeps these powerful ideas alive, but also helps spread the knowledge to others who are ready to wake up to the bigger picture. The message from the Gospel of Mary Magdalene is nothing short of groundbreaking, even by today's standards. It directly confronts the structures of power, challenges the limitations of our understanding, and reshapes how we perceive ourselves in the grand scheme of things. By revealing that the material world is merely an illusion and that true salvation comes not from blind obedience or faith, but from personal insight and inner wisdom, this gospel offers a pathway to authentic spiritual liberation. It urges us to break free from the fears, societal constructs and mental barriers that keep us tethered to an ordinary restricted existence, trapped in cycles of illusion. What makes this even more compelling is that the latest discoveries in science are now beginning to mirror this ancient wisdom. As we dive deeper into quantum mechanics, we are learning that the universe is not the solid, predictable place we once thought. It's filled with mysteries, interconnections, 
and an overwhelming sense that reality itself is shaped by consciousness. Science and spirituality, long viewed as opposites, are now converging, showing us that they are two sides of the same coin. They both point us toward a higher truth. The universe is far more complex, fluid, and mind-driven than we ever imagined. However, hearing these ideas is not enough. To truly grasp their meaning, we must go beyond passive listening. We need to actively look past the surface of our daily lives, question the things we've always assumed to be true, and explore our own consciousness. It means being brave enough to seek out the truth, even when it shakes the very foundation of what we think we know. This search for knowledge is not just about intellectual understanding, it's a call to self-discovery and personal growth. The teachings of Mary Magdalene serve as an invitation to personal empowerment. They encourage us to embark on our own unique journey to spiritual freedom. As science catches up to these ancient ideas, revealing that reality is more mysterious and interconnected than we could have imagined, the opportunity to break free from the confines of the material world is now within our grasp. The truth is, the power to transform your reality starts within you. Although the material world may seem solid and unchangeable, the deeper truth is that we have the capacity to rise above it, to understand the profound connections between all things, and to unlock the immense potential of the human mind. As wisdom from the past aligns with discoveries from the present, a new understanding of life is unfolding before us. This is only the beginning of the journey. The path to deeper knowledge is endless, and the quest to uncover your true self has just begun. Thanks for watching. Join our community by subscribing to this channel. Until the next video.